Howdy animation fans, I'm Mason. This is another Rotoscopers art book review. Today we are going to take a look at uh, the book Mark Davis, Walt Disney's Renaissance Man. Welcome to my flip through of this book and uh, we're gonna try a more homey approach to this flip through as you can see So just sit back relax and enjoy this great commemoration of one of the true Disney animation greats Mark Davis Now Mark Davis was one of the legendary nine old men So those were animators who worked at Disney during its golden era of animation But Mark Davis was much more than just an animator Walt Disney himself called Mark Davis his Renaissance Man, which is a term for someone who knows a little bit about everything. And he did! Mark Davis was not only a talented animator, but he also worked on story, he was a painter, a designer, and an Imagineer for the original Disney parks. So just so you know, Mark Davis animated Maleficent and Aurora from Sleeping Beauty. He also animated the characters Cinderella, Alice from Alice in Wonderland, Tinkerbell, and Cruella de Vil, to name only a few. So while his book definitely shows off a lot of his artwork, it's actually more of a visual biography examining that, uh, the many roles that Mark Davis played while working for Walt Disney. What's really cool about the book is that each section is introduced by a different legendary figure from Disney Animation's history. For example, Andreas Deja wrote the section on Davis' animal sketches, and Pete Docter wrote the section on his animation art, and Don Hahn wrote about his fine art. All of these chapters are, of course, accompanied by beautiful illustrations. So no complaints here about the images. Disney Publishing did a terrific job, as always, with the layout and material quality of the book. I think my favorite images were the ones from Davis's sketchbook because I love looking at just raw, rough sketches from other artists, especially these brilliant Disney animators. Also, I had no idea that Mark Davis uh, was responsible for so many <laughs> classic Disney park rides, such as the original Pirates of the Caribbean ride, uh, the Haunted Mansion, my personal favorite, and the Jungle Cruise. So there's artwork from his Imagineering days in the book too, and it's really cool. And there's also a special section of the book devoted to Mark Davis's wife, Alice. So she was a big part of Disney animation during an era when women hardly got any recognition for their work and animation in general was not considered a woman's job. So Alice was a fashion designer who was also involved in Sleeping Beauty, uh, for example, and also designed for the parks. So the book gives her her own chapter and it gives her that special recognition that she deserves. And it all makes sense because she really was a big part of Mark Davis's life from what I read in his book. And it's actually really sweet reading about the loving relationship that they had. I feel like the summary doesn't do Mark Davis enough justice, so you'll just have to get this book and read about him for yourself. Incredible guy, incredible life, and amazing artwork. If you're a fan of classic Disney animation, then Mark Davis, Walt Disney's Renaissance Man, is a must-read. Okay, everybody, thanks for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. We want to thank our friends at Disney Publishing for sending us a review copy of Mark Davis, Walt Disney's Renaissance Man. Don't forget you can go to Amazon.com, which is your place for basically everything that has to do with online shopping. <laughs> we will attach an affiliate link uh, in the description so that you can purchase your own copy of Mark Davis, Walt Disney's Renaissance Man. So thanks again. Be sure to give this video a like to show your rotoscopers love and also subscribe to our channel. Until next time, I'm Mason. This is the Rotoscopers YouTube. Better with the, the cover. The, the book is filled with these huge, wide, big pages of, of concept art or different cells. And I felt like they could have used some of those and they were they could have been better. I just I every time I look at this, I'm like, ah, oh, it's so boring. There's no character to it all. Which the movie, I'm talking to beauty, has so much.